Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend, but we'll be using dinosaurs. And what my girlfriend Zoe doesn't know is that this huge one-way glass wall, so I can see exactly what mob she spawns in. Well, anyway, Zoe, are you excited for today's dinosaur mob battle? I am so excited. You are so going down, Dax. No way, Zoe. You're definitely going to lose, but I'm going to give you five minutes to spawn in your first mob, so best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, and now we're on to the very first round of our mob battle. And like I said, what my girlfriend doesn't know is I made this huge one-way glass glass wall so i can see exactly what mob she spawns in so let's go ahead and spy through the wall and see what zoe's gonna do for this first round oh my gosh i just love dinosaurs so i think for this first round i'm gonna do my favorite dinosaur the velociraptor whoa wait did zoe do a velociraptor and this thing looks so cool wow that guy's totally intimidating wow he looks even better than i imagined this is gonna be awesome okay guys is she spawning a velociraptor who's like a super super strong dinosaur what should i even try to do and wait a second, I have a really good idea. For this first round, what if I spawn in the Spinosaurus? And if you've never seen the Spinosaurus before, he is like super, super big. So I think this guy can definitely take out the Velociraptor. Let me just spawn him down and see. And whoa, this guy is absolutely ginormous. And he's blue, which is like a super cool color. But for whatever reason, he's sleeping right now. So maybe he's just taking a little bit of a break before the mob battle starts. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, Velociraptors usually run around in a pack. So... I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them. Whoa, wait, Zoe's spawning in a bunch of Velociraptors. Oh no, guys, this actually might be a little bit dangerous for my Spinosaurus over here. Okay, guys, I definitely need to think about something that I can do for my Spinosaurus to make him even stronger. So what if I give him a super cool enchantment? If I go into my inventory and type in mob enchantment book, I can grab one of these super, super cool things. And let's see, which one do I wanna use? And ooh, the health boost sounds super cool. Now, basically, I'm walking to my Spinosaurus right here and just click on him, it'll give him a super cool effect. You might not be able to see it, but if you get any type of close to him, you can see that it has a health boost on it. With this super cool enchantment, I'm definitely going to beat Zoe in this first round. One time, I heard that if you give your mobs a triple layered cake, it's supposed to make them like 10 times their size. Wait, what? Did Zoe say if you gave your mobs a triple layered cake, it's going to make them bigger? That honestly doesn't make any sense at all. Let me just put down a few of these and they should get bigger. And wait a second. What in the world? Zoe's mobs just got absolutely ginormous. There's no way cake actually works for her. Heck yeah, the cake worked. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely ridiculous, but wait a second. If the cake made her mobs bigger, what if I do the same thing for my Spinosaurus over here? And I'm pretty sure she said you needed a triple layer cake, so let me go ahead and grab one of these, and then I can place a few of them around my Spinosaurus. So let's see if this does anything. And whoa, guys, look at that. My Spinosaurus is now two times the height. This is gonna be a way better fight now that he's huge. Just look how big he is. He's like basically taller than the glass. This is gonna be the craziest first round ever. Who do you guys think is gonna win? You can either comment Team Spino or you comment Team Velociraptor. Okay, so well, I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this first round in our dinosaur mob battle. Are you ready to lose this? I'm gonna win this thing, Dax. Well, we'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. It looks like the first round has started. And whoa, Zoe, you spawned in a bunch of Velociraptors. Yep, they usually run in a pack. And what the heck? That dinosaur you spawned in looks so cool. Yep, this is the Spinosaurus, and he is, like, extremely strong. I mean, look how much bigger he is than all your Velociraptors. He is super big, but you did only spawn in one, so I think I still have a chance. Well, come on. My Spinosaurus is super big. That means he's super muscular, so there's no way this Velociraptor pack can take him out. Yeah, but it looks like he's taking a lot of damage. I haven't seen my Velociraptors drop once. Well, don't be too confident, Zoe. My guy is super strong, and it looks like he's holding on pretty good so i think he can take some out and whoa look he took out one of your velociraptors no way they're starting to drop yes come on spinosaurus show zoe how strong you are you're like the best dinosaur of all time come on velociraptors you got this this is so easy and yes more of them are dropping come on spinosaurus this is not good just a few more of them and then you'll be the mob battle champion just for the first run at least come on take him down okay it looks like there's only three more two more just one one more Velociraptor and perfect. He took out your last one. That was way too easy. What the heck? I really thought I was going to win this first round. Well, I am just a way better mob battle player than you, Zoe, but that's only one to zero. So maybe you can win the next round. And perfect, guys. That first round wasn't just a plan. It was so easy. And we completely destroyed Zoe. But I want to go ahead and win the second round too. So let's go ahead and use our one-way glass wall to see what Zoe's going to try and pull up for the second round in our dinosaur mob battle. Ugh. I was so mad that 
I lost that first round. I tried super hard. So that means I need to try even harder this time. So I'm gonna spawn in the Carnotaurus. What in the world is that in Whoa, wait a second. This guy actually looks kind of cool. It's almost like a T-Rex. Whoa, this guy is huge. And look how long his tail is. What in the world? And look at that. It even sticks through the wall. Okay, that is pretty cool. But like I said, he does look a lot like a T-Rex, which is a little bit scary. So wait a second. What if I spawn in an actual T-Rex? Let's just look for a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And oh my gosh, guys, there he goes. Let me just put him down in the middle of our arena and oh my goodness this guy is absolutely ginormous this is so cool but honestly last round zoe spotted a bunch of velociraptors so what if i spot in two t-rexes let's go both of these guys look so cool this is gonna be the craziest round in the bottom battle so far you know what i think i want to spawn in a couple of these guys just so i have a super strong army wait a second is zoe spawning in even more oh my gosh she always spawns in so many these guys are so big and so strong this might be a little bit close so wait Wait a second before the walls drop why don't i actually go over to zoe's side and prank her real quick but of course guys in order to get over to zoe's side i'm gonna need to go invisible that way she won't be able to see me so let's go ahead and get herself a super cool potion of visibility and as soon as i splash this on myself no one will be able to see me which will be the perfect cover to get over to her side perfect guys i made it over to zoe's side and, oh wait a second what in the world is she even riding on right now yay i am so glad that i brought my pumpkin car here today what in the world where did she even get a pumpkin pumpkin car this is literally a mob battle what is zoe doing well anyways i came over to mess with her a little bit so let's see what can i do and oh wait a second i have this thing called the mob killer basically this one shops any mob it touches so first let me touch this mob right in front of zoe and boom there goes their dinosaur what the heck why did my dinosaur just die Oh my gosh, wait, that was super funny. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is pick up her little cart over here and just start flying with it. What the heck? Now my pumpkin car is flying? I didn't know I could do that. Get back here. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so funny. And so he's so confused. Let me just put the car back down. Let me see if I can hop on it and if it'll fly. Am I flying? Oh my gosh, guys, she's actually trying to fly. It doesn't work like that, Zoe. I don't even know what you're doing. That car is dumb anyways. The heck, and she just called her car dumb. Well, anyways, I wanna take out a few more of her dinosaurs. So let me just grab my mob killer and perfect. I just took out a couple more of them. What the heck? They're all dying. I need to spawn in more ASAP. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Is she just spawning in more? This isn't going to be good because my T-Rex is over there going to have a tough time fighting them. So next up, I want to grab something called a dynamite. And these things are super, super strong. Oh, wait a second. What if I use this super cool lightning dynamite? This thing looks super destructive. All I have to do is throw it down right here. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. All our dinosaurs are on fire. What the heck? All of my dinosaurs on fire and my pumpkin car. Oh my goodness. This is so funny, but wait, I don't even think it took out any of them. So let me go ahead and throw one more down. What the heck? There's more lightning? This is awful. This is absolutely hilarious. And a bunch of her mobs are taking so much damage. Let me go ahead and grab another dynamite and see what I could do to them. Oh, wait a second. What if I grab this one called the arrow dynamite? This actually looks super cool. All I have to do is just throw it down and a bunch of arrows should spawn in. Whoa, look at all of those. What the heck? Where did all these arrows come from? This is so not cool. Oh my gosh, this one's absolutely hilarious. Let me go ahead and throw down a few more of them. Oh my gosh, they keep hitting my mobs. And look at that, guys. I even took out one of her dinosaurs. This is so funny. You know, there's only one person that could be behind this. Dax. Hey, Zoe. Uh, What's going on? How about you tell me? Uh, What are you even talking about, Zoe? I'm just getting my mobs ready for this mob battle. First, my pumpkin car started flying, and then there was lightning explosions, and then a whole bunch of arrows were shot at my mob. Wait, did you say you had a pumpkin car, Zoe? You know we're doing a mob battle, right? Not like a race or something. Dax, that is not the important part of the story. Well, I'm not doing anything, Zoe. I'm minding my own business on my side of the wall. Maybe you should have better luck controlling your dinosaurs. Maybe they're throwing them. Yeah, they don't throw it. They're dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Well, I don't know, Zoe. That's not really my problem. And we only have like 30 seconds left before the wall is supposed to drop. So you might want to get it figured out. I'm figuring it out. Oh my gosh, guys. That was way too close. Okay, before she gets way too suspicious, let me get back to my side. And perfect, guys. I made it back over. Let me go ahead and drink this milk bucket. That way I'm no longer invisible. And perfect. Now I'm back to my normal self. Well, anyway, Zoe, I think my army is basically ready to go for this next round in the bot battle. So are you ready to lose another round? I'm going to win, Dax. We'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. The walls have officially dropped. And whoa, Zoe, what in the world did you spawn in? I spawned in a Conotaurus. The heck is that? This looks like a cheap knockoff of the T-Rex. A cheap knockoff of the T-Rex? Yeah, right. These guys are vicious. Yeah, they're vicious, but the T-Rexes are way bigger. Look how strong my guys look. Yeah, but they're a lot weaker. 
What the heck? They are literally not weak at all, Zoe. Look at them. You have way more. And my guys aren't even taking any damage right now. They're just way stronger. I do think that they're taking damage. I think that they're going to fall pretty soon. No way. Keep on fighting, T-Rexes. We can totally beat Zoe's weak army. Come on, guys. We got this. Team Zoe for the win. Come on, T-Rexes. Keep fighting. You can do this. You can do this. It's one of the quarters getting jumped out. And wait, no, he just got taken out. What the heck? Woohoo! One down, one to go. Come on, other T-Rex. And wait, what the heck? He lost two? Are you serious? I win. I win. What you the heck? Lose. This is so stupid. So you must have been cheating. What the heck? You were the one that threw the dynamite. Hey, wait, what are you even talking about? So I didn't throw anything. This is like came out of the air or something. Yeah, it came out of the air from your hand. You are such a dirty cheater. What the heck? So I didn't do anything, but you won the round. You shouldn't even be complaining. Yeah, I guess not. But I'm keeping my eye on you. No more cheating. What in the world, guys? I can't believe the T-Rex actually lost. I thought he was like the strongest dinosaur of all time. This is totally rigged. Well, either way, I need to go ahead and win this next round. So let's go ahead and see what Zoe's going to try and spot in. I am so happy I won that round. I really did work so hard and that hard work paid off. Oh my gosh, guys. Zoe is literally so confident. This is so dumb. I'm going to crush her in this round. For this round, I think I'm going to spawn in the Morose Intrepidus. What in the world is that? And what the heck is this? It looks like a little Velociraptor or something. Yikes, this guy's super small. I'm going to have to spawn in like a million of them. Wait, did she just say she's going to spawn in a million of them? Oh my gosh, guys. If she spawns in a bunch of them, they're still going to be super strong. Well, either way, even if she's spawning in a bunch of them, I can get something like super, super strong to take them out. So let's see. What's something cool I could do? And wait a second. I have a really good idea. Zoe does have a land dinosaur. So what am I spawning a water one. In order to do that, I'm going to have to make all this ground over here water. So let me go ahead and start breaking this out. Perfect. Now that all this is carved out, let me go ahead and set the floor to be all water. And now that this is done, I can go ahead and spawn in my next dinosaur, which is the biggest water dinosaur ever. Look how cool this guy looks. He is totally intimidating. And since he's like a water creature, I probably only need this guy in order to take out all of Zoe's mobs over there. But actually, in order for this to work out, maybe I should make the whole arena water. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to get over to Zoe's side. So first, let me splash this potion of visibility on myself so I can sneak over there. Okay, and perfect. Now that I'm over to Zoe's side, let me just go ahead and dig down to this corridor over here. That way I can set the whole floor to be water. I'll type in my super cool command and perfect. Look at that. Now everything's water. What the heck? My whole side turned into water. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going to be so perfect. Now whenever the walls drop, it's going to be way easier for my water monster to go around and completely destroy all of Zoe's army. Let me head back to my side before she gets a little bit too suspicious. Okay, Okay, perfect. Now that all this is done, let me go ahead and get my milk bucket and perfect. Now I'm back to my normal cell. Okay, Zoe, I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this next round at the bomb belt. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm kind of ready, but what the heck happened to the arena? Uh, I have no idea, Zoe, but my side turned to water. How about your side? My side is water too. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, that's totally weird, but hey, what can we do about it? Let's just go ahead and drop the walls. And here we go, Zoe. It looks like the round has started and whoa, what in the world did you even spawn in? Dax, I spawned in the morose Intrepidus. What in the world are these? These look like little velociraptors and they look so weak. Yeah, they're kind of like little weenies, but hopefully they're strong. Well, I guess we'll see if they're strong. They're all fighting in the middle and whoa, my guy's completely annihilating them. Look, he's just biting them all with his teeth. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? I honestly don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like super, super complicated. It's like a Mosasaurus or something. The Morasasaurus? Yeah, it's something like that. But hey, it's a water creature. So this water being in the arena is like the perfect thing for it. Yeah, it's pretty pretty convenient that the arena turned into water. You sure you didn't have anything to do with this? Uh, no, Zoe. Why would I have anything to do with this? I want a fair and square mob battle. Maybe because you're a big fat cheater? What the heck, Zoe? You literally can't say that to me just because your guys are losing. I'm not losing. I still have a bigger army than yours. Well, you should be losing any second now. Your people are getting jumped and my guy is just way too big for all of them. Whatever. He's super weak. Uh, is he super weak, Zoe? You only have two guys left and now you only have one guy left and he's about to get taken out. It perfect. That was way too easy. Dang it. I I can't believe I lost. Yeah, that was way too easy. And it makes the score two to one, Zoe. So with this next round, I'm going to be the dinosaur mob battle champion. No way you're winning again. Perfect, guys. Using water for that last one was the most perfect idea ever. We completely crushed Zoe's army. And now all I have to do is win one more round, and then I'll be the dinosaur mob battle champion. So let's go ahead and use our one-way glass wall to see what Zoe's going to try and pull off. Okay, this round, 
I need to focus. So I'm going to pull out the big guns. The Atrociraptor. Wait, what in the world is the Atrociraptor? And whoa, this guy looks so scary. Whoa, he looks super deadly. Look at those sharp teeth. And when I build an army filled with this guy, there's no way I can lose. Wait a second. Did Zoe just say she's going to build in an army? And oh my gosh, she's already spawning in so many. Okay, guys, if she wants to spawn in a raptor, what if I do the same type of thing? Except for me, I'm going to do the Pyroraptor. It's supposed to be way faster and way stronger. Let's look at it. And whoa, this guy looks so cool. And if I do the same thing like Zoe's doing and spawn in a whole bunch of them, I can definitely win this round. And since we're both spawning in raptors, it's going to be a super close fight. So who do you guys think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. Well, anyway, Zoe, I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this next round. Are you ready to lose once and for all? You are so going down this time, Dax. No way. We'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. The walls have officially dropped. And oh my gosh, this is a complete bloodbath. What the heck? It's madness. Oh my goodness. There is so much fighting going on right now. I don't even know who's winning this. Me neither. I see that mobs are disappearing, but I don't know whose team it is. Oh no. Come on. My guys have to win. And oh no, you still have so many people. This is such a close fight. I don't even know who's going to win this. And wait, all my guys are like running into a wall right now. What are you guys doing? It's because they're so scared. What in the world? And oh no, your raptors are so strong. They're just hunting them in a pack and my guys aren't even fighting back. Am I actually going to win this? Oh no, come on guys. Keep fighting. Please keep fighting. We can't lose to Zoe. Come on team Zoe. We got this. Come on. I still have like two guys left. One guy left and no, my last guy just got taken out. Woohoo. That means I'm the winner. Oh my gosh. Zoe, well, that only makes the score two to two. So we still have to do a tiebreaker round to see who the real champion is. And it's going to be me. What in the world guys? I can't believe we actually lost. We have to move on to one final round to solve this all. But I still do have my one-way glass wall, so maybe if I really focus up this time, I could get the perfect counter and completely destroy Zoe. For this round, I think I'm going to spawn in the Indoraptor. Wait, what? Did she just spawn in the Indoraptor? This guy is huge. Whoa, he's awesome. I've never seen a dinosaur like him before. What in the world, guys? This is totally not cool at all, but it looks like Zoe only spawned in one, so I still think I can win this. And you already know, I have to build an entire army filled with these guys. What in the world? And Zoe is spawning in a bunch of them. And wait a second. Oh my gosh, they're attacking the baby ones. What the heck? Stop attacking each other. What in the world? They just took out the baby raptors. That is totally crazy, but oh no, Zoe has a bunch of This is a little bit scary. Well, let's see. If she has a bunch of super strong raptors, who should I spawn in? And wait a second. I have the most perfect idea. Idea. What am I spawning in the Gigasaurus? Yes, this guy looks so cool. Oh my goodness, he is so big. And whoa, look at this crazy spine. He looks insanely strong. I wonder if I can have two of these guys on my team or are they gonna fight? And no, it looks like they'll actually be teammates. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have my three Gigasauruses versus all those Raptors. And I totally think I can win this. Okay, so I put together the most awesome army ever and we're totally gonna destroy you in this round. Yeah, right, Dex. You are so going down. No way. We'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. It looks like the final round has begun. What the heck? Is that a Gigasaurus? Yes, it is. And it looks like you spawned in the Indoraptor. These guys look so cool. Yeah, they are super cool. And they come in different colors. Well, it looks like they're all getting trashed either way. My Gigasauruses are just way too strong. No way. Come on, guys. Take them all out so I can be the ultimate mob battle champion. This is looking way too easy for me. Come on, guys. We got this. What are you two doing in the corner? You have to move. Yeah, you just have two people doing absolutely nothing. I think your army's scared of my Gigasauruses, Zoe. Maybe. They need to get moving. Come on, guys. Take out these guys while those two are distracted. Let's make this as easy as possible. You guys need to move. Come on. There's only a few of them left on this side. And oh my gosh, Zoe. They're dropping like flies. This looks like I'm going to be the mob battle champion. No way. Come on, only one more left, and perfect, I win. No way, Dax, that was not the final round. You've been cheating this whole time. Wait, what so, the heck, Zoe? I haven't been cheating at all. What are you even talking about? I've seen you cheat, so we need to have one more round, and this time we can only spawn in water dinosaurs. Wait, water dinosaurs? Okay, you know what? I haven't even been cheating, but I'll beat you in one final round just to make you sad. Perfect, guys, we completely destroyed Zoe in that round, which technically means I win the mob battle, but she also have one final 
rad where we use water dinosaurs. So let's go ahead and see to start this off. What is Zoe going to try and pull off for this last round? I've been keeping one dinosaur up my sleeve this entire time. So I'm going to spawn in the Helicoprian. The heck is that? And whoa, wait, this looks like a shark. He's like the deadliest water dinosaur. What in the world? This guy actually looks kind of cool. What am I even going to use? And whoa, it looks like he's spawning in a bunch of them. Okay, guys, I didn't think of a great counter. And wait a second, guys. What am I spawning in the Chronosaurus? Look how cool this guy looks. And whoa, he even comes with a super cool sound. This is going to be one crazy round. Let me go ahead and spawn in a few of these guys just to make sure I can totally take out Zoe's army. And since this is the final round in the mob battle, who do you guys think is going to win? You can either comment Team Dax or you comment Team Zoe. Well, Zoe, I think my army is basically ready to go for this final round of the mob battle. Are you ready to lose once and for all? Dax, you're going to be so surprised when I end up as the mob battle champion. Well, we'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. It looks like the final run has started. And whoa, so wait, you spotted a bunch of sharks? Actually, the Helicoprion, but the sharks do descend from them. What in the world? These guys look so powerful, but I still think my guys can definitely pull them off. If you didn't know, the Chronosaurus is like one of the strongest water dinosaurs ever. Kind of looks like a whale. What the heck? It doesn't look anything like a whale. That's totally disrespectful. This one's stuck in the corner. He doesn't look very powerful. Oh, actually, he's just the leader of all them, but he's telling them all to beat the mess out of your stupid sharks. Look, they're all dying. No way. Your stupid dinosaurs are dying. No way. You only have three guys left. Only one guy left. Come on, we can win this and perfect. So it looks like I won the final round. What the heck? I lost again? Well, Zoe, it looks like you ended up losing another mob battle. Well, don't you worry, Dax, because the next mob battle we do, I'm going to be the winner. That was a super crazy video. If you guys want to watch another one, click the video on screen. Bye, guys.